Congratulations in making it this far. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Root of All Evil. You granted certain individuals the power to enter the TVs. You created the Midnight Channel as well. And lastly, you started a rumor about the Midnight Channel to raise its public awareness. Is this correct? All save one point. This Midnight Channel you speak of, it is indeed a device to draw hearts into this world. But it was always your individual wills that would determine what appeared on it. Humans ache to expose their suppressed sides, while the prying eyes around them are curious to see them lay bare. The want to show, and the want to see. I granted a window that catered to both. That is all. Everyone wished to know more about the people who became famous through the media. And the Midnight Channel was there to grant their wishes. Once the person they wanted to see entered the realm formed by human thought, they would appear even more clearly. I see. So that's how it worked. Are you saying all you did was give that initial spark to Senpai and the others, then watched things unfold? And the rumors spreading, things going wrong. We're to blame for all that's happened? People's curiosity was at fault? Everything was for your sake, to create the world mankind so wanted. Man struggles to understand one another. You can only truly know a finite number of people within your lifetime. But humans disregard this fact, and try to know more people than is possible. Only by comparing yourself to others can you define yourselves. Thus, your ever-present anxiety. Your anxiety causes you to see only what you want to see, and believe only what you wish to believe. As I said, your desire is for a world enshrouded in fog. I must agree that the vast majority of people are exactly as you say. But we don't intend to live that way. If we were fine with the world you're making, we never would come this far, dammit! We'll keep searching for truth and figuring out who we are as we go on with our lives. We all will. Together. That's right! No more butting into our business! We will continue to live in our world with everyone else. That's why.
I am thou. Here goes. Push it on. What's the matter? Did you intend to defeat me with such feeble strength? so easily for your foolish pride in stepping into the realm of the gods. Senpai's really hurt.
here goes! Crush attack! Can you not understand? It is impossible to defeat me. is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. Existences. This battle will determine our future. A god? Huh! Bring it on! You cannot defeat me with strength alone. Soon, you will understand. Look out! We've never seen anything like her!
Guard. For your demise, I'll end your lives here. You can go, Senpai. Your agility is down. <laughs> Persona! 
goes! Crush it time! Strain yourself. I am thou. Walk. Wow. 
Here goes! Crush it time! Goodbye. Accept the reality of your death. that our battle must end this way. What's the matter? Isn't it too early to give up? You taught me what a family truly is. I had my hands full just with Nanako when you came rolling in. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. But then again, I can get back up as many times as I need to with you two with me. However painful it gets, I'll just grip my teeth. I'll get up as many times as I have to for you two. My father can be pretty stupid that way, huh? I'm such a stubborn, two-faced coward. But you understood me. That's why I can become as strong as I need to be. Hey, can you hear me? Don't close your eyes yet. I'll give you our strength. You're our last hope. Please, get back up. Just once more. Hey, senpai, how much longer are you gonna just lie there? I mean, like that senpai? Not the kind of guy who can let it drop like this. That ain't the senpai I look up to. Get back up. Just one more time. Let me protect you. Senpai, thanks. I'm glad I came to this town. When I think back on all the fun I had with you... Senpai, please stand up just one more time. We'll be your strength. Sensei. I'll protect you, Sensei. You gave me my life. You're important to me. I'm not alone anymore. And neither are you, Sensei. I'm sure together, we can do things that no one could do alone. Can you hear everyone's voices? The people do not wish for a world enveloped in fog. There are times when they'll stop and think they can't go another step. But everyone desperately pushes on. Please, grant everyone's wishes. Bring light to people's hearts. Please get up. Just once more.
Impossible! Can the will of so few surpass the will of all mankind? How can your powers rival mine? Be. How could I be defeated? How am I the one to disappear? Instead of the endless struggle, wouldn't it be easier to wrap oneself in lies and live in blissful ignorance? Isn't that true peace for humans? How many times do we have to tell you? The hell with that shit! Stop assuming you know us! <laughs> Very well. Then try and live your way. Power enough to erase my existence. You have already exceeded what I thought humanity to be capable of. You have lifted the fog in this world, as well as the fog in your own. And whether that will lead to happiness or not, rests upon your shoulders. Children of man, well done. <gasps> All right, we did it. Uh, thank goodness. It's really over now. Yep. This time it's all over! It seems this is more like a beginning for us, though. Well, now we've got no regrets for tomorrow. Welcome back. Everything's finally over. You really are incredible. I'm no match for you. You just fought the other me that split from my personality. The two Sagiri, the other me, and the me that is speaking with you right now. They were all originally one within me. But there was nothing I could have done without my powers. If not for you... I would have disappeared along with the fog when the hollow forest vanished. Thank you so much. You saved everything. I'll be all right. The fragments you defeated have returned to me and will soon become one. My name is Izanami no Mikoto, the fertile will that protects those who live in this land and fulfills their wishes. I will not forget you.
please do not forget. I am always by your side. <laughs> How marvelous! You have driven back a godly being and brought about a new world. This will be the last time we summon you here. Soon, the fog will lift and our destination will be visible. We will be arriving shortly. This journey was a fruitful one, worthy of marking a turning point in your destiny. Many a time along the way did the fog of lies prevent you from moving forth. Yet in every instance, you overcame the temptation of easy exits and false terminals. In forging bonds with those precious to you, you moved closer to the truth, one step at a time. And my heart danced with delight to see you succeed. I am most honored to have borne witness to such a wondrous journey. Our destination is close at hand now. Well then, we have finally come to your journey's true end. Our contract has been fulfilled. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Now, go forth and see with your own eyes. See the world you have won, the bright, magnificent future. Yo, well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. N no more senpai from t tomorrow on! <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. But, but... <laughs> Sheesh. <clears throat> that, that stuff's kind of contagious, you know. We gotta put on a good face for Senpai. Big hey, bro? I don't want you to go away! Nanako, didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. And Nanako's better now, too. I couldn't ask for anything more. 
thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. Sensei, I finally found a place for me. That's why I'm going back over there. To make sure it never goes wrong again, I'm going to protect that world from now on. I can finally be proud and say, that world is where I belong. Man, Senpai, this town's gonna feel empty without you. How cruel! W were you even listening? We can see you anytime we want, you dork. Like you'll be gone long. Soon as you start craving something like ice cream, you'll be back in a flash. C come on, my honeys. Bluffing that way isn't very cute, you know. You're just gonna be going in and out of the TV at Juness. How's that different from what you've been doing? Um, I can't quite decide what to do. At first, I only planned on staying here until the case was completely closed. Maybe I should stick to my original plan and take the train back with you, Senpai. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I couldn't do something like that. It's not as though we'll never see each other again. Feel free to call me anytime, even if there isn't a case to solve. I don't feel like saying goodbye either. Hey, you got any plans during the long holiday in May? If you're free, come over and visit. With no mysteries to solve, we can have some real fun. I'll make reservations now so that we can stay in my family's inn. Ooh, I can get my revenge for that night. Our surprise sneak attack will work for sure this time. Don't bring that up, you stupid bear. Hey, what happened to going back to that world? That has nothing to do with this. It's entirely different. That reminds me, she's not here. I would have thought that she would come today at least. Oh yeah, I haven't seen her ever since. Um, is she doing okay? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, so Emmy chan went back there, huh? Oh my, I've got a hottie for a neighbor now. What should I do? Oh, is that what you meant? Oh, I thought something bad had happened to her. Why'd you have to say it like that? Well, as long as she's doing well, that's okay. Hey, stop ignoring me. But back to a serious note, she should have at least shown up here since this is the last time we'll see you. Things like that too. It's almost time. You better get on the train. Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running. Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, I'll be careful. I'll see you, Big Fro. Bye-bye.
He's really gone. It's sad that he won't be around, but we will be okay, right guys? Doesn't matter how far apart we are. The bonds we've made will remain strong. Everyone's heart is connected to the people they know and trust. It's those bonds that let us all search for our purpose in life. As long as it's a purpose you believe in, there will always be someone who can help you fulfill it. You, me, and everyone else, there are no barriers. Our hearts are one. Right, Sensei? I have seen the light! I've learned the most important lesson from the events last year. Unfortunately, this world is full of things meant to deceive people. The things you do in pursuit of justice may actually be a terrible mistake. One man is not enough to judge these things. It was a group of boys and girls who taught me that. In their spirit, I want to join hands with all of you to rethink this town's future. I want Inaba to be a town free from deceit and distractions that keep you from focusing on the things most important to you. Hey kid, do you know who that is? He was arrested during those terrible murders last year, right? And now he's running for mayor. That was a surprise. He's so passionate though. At first, no one wanted to go near him, but look at him now. I've been to a few of his speeches. I think he might be a pretty nice guy. If we can all work together on this and not get so sidetracked by passing trends, this town will regain its former glory. So please, lend me your strength. Please! What do you think of beefsteak onigiri? We can freeze it and sell it nationwide through amazing commodities. I don't know. Those are handmade, aren't they? I don't think we can mass produce them. On the other hand, maybe limited quantities and handmade are good selling points that could revitalize this town. I thought of moving away once, but I don't think I could bear to be away from here. I understand completely. This is where we were born and raised. We'll have to work together if we don't want it to fall apart. Great news! Juness said we'll have their full cooperation! Yes! Good thing we went to talk with them. If only we'd done it sooner. But what are we supposed to sell in a locally produced goods section? 
I guess the steak kebabs are good, but what other stuff is there? We're not famous for anything else. Give me anything, you half-wit! Vegetables, fish, even ramen! As long as it's something we put our backs into, it'll sell like hotcakes! You gotta work hard so you don't embarrass your ass! We can't be weak now! You're going to give us away, idiot! Only because you are slow! Slow like a jar of molasses! Shut up! He's going to hear! Ah, oh, we blew it! Oh well, here goes! One, two... Bah! Bah! It's a bear! What are you guys doing? This isn't anything like we planned! And what's with the bah? It's a bear! Oh, you make it sound like we're the ones getting ambushed! I knew we'd run into snags. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, senpai! You're here, you're here! Did you miss me? Uh, we heard you were coming, so we planned a little surprise. I mean, things got kind of nuts when you last visited in May. We thought instead of you coming to each of our houses, we'd spice things up this time. Yeah, and we thought you'd miss us a little if you couldn't find any of us. It didn't go quite like we planned, but it's been a while, senpai. Were you surprised? You were? <laughs> Success! <laughs> Sorry, she laughs for even less reason than before. Ooh, so hey senpai, how do I look? Did you think I was someone else? Is your heart melting? Oh come on, you know who's changed more than anybody else here. Yeah, will you asshats lay off? You're getting a little rude there. Well, we have all changed a little. None of us can remain in stasis forever. <laughs> oh, stop laughing already! None of us want to be the guy who's always talking about how great things were back in the day. As long as we're all here, keeping an eye out for each other, we can change. Yosuke's still a show-off! Not me, though! I'm different now! Why, I've powered up so much that I'm probably a grizzly bear! Huh, sounds powerful. I'll stick you with all the manual labor, then. Oh, hi. It's me. Did the surprise go well? <laughs> Don't say that to a detective. Oh, give me a break. They forced me to act like I wasn't home. I'm a pro when it comes to seeing through a lie, but when I'm the one who has to put on an act, I don't last five seconds. Anyway, bring them all back here. I've got a good meal waiting. Oh, really? Let's eat! Hey, Kanji! This is to celebrate Senpai coming back! Shut up, I know! Oh, so good! Jason, by that's your second one. We get one each, remember? <sighs> you kids sure eat a lot. I thought I might have ordered too much, but look at you, plowing through it already. Sorry about that, and thanks. Isn't Nanako-chan here? I'd hate to eat her share too. She's at piano lessons. Don't worry, I set hers aside. Oh, didn't I tell you? Yeah, Nanako started learning the piano. She should be back any time now. I'm sure she'll be rushing home. Ever since she found out you'd be back, it's all she's talked about. Phew. 
Yeah, me too. She's growing and learning every day. It's an amazing thing to see. Just watching her gives me strength. It's slow, but I'm moving on, bit by bit. Actually, I came across some information about an old hit-and-run incident. The victim was Chisato Dojima, my wife. I've been chasing dead ends and false leads for so long. But I think I'm finally getting close to the truth. Just when I thought I'd keep my personal feelings separate from my job. <laughs> it's strange. Though, it's thanks to you that I was able to draw that line in the first place. Thank you. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, about the incidents last year. Uh, Namatame got released on lack of evidence. I can't tell you too much, but basically no one could reproduce his supposed methods, not even Namatame himself. He was very insistent on the details of his crimes, but a diary isn't enough evidence to build a case on. He came to me to apologize, but I told him he should come up with his own way to make up for it. He said he was going to run for mayor. I don't know how serious he was about that. Oh, so that was Namatame-san giving those speeches. Oh yeah, and I went to see a dachi. What happened to him? Were you the one to interrogate him? No, I wasn't part of that. I couldn't be. We were too close. But he was indicted. It was probably just circumstantial evidence, but he said a lot of things only the real killer could know. After they set a trial date for him, I was able to go see him. I see. They say he's a model prisoner. The bastard says he gets better treatment behind bars than he did when he was working with me. Huh. Next time when I go see him, I'll bring him a cheap cabbage. I'm home! Dad! Is Big Bro... Big Bro! <laughs> Surprise, Nanako? Welcome home, Nana-chan! Teddy too? And Risei-chan! <laughs> Everyone's here! I'm learning piano now. And I've been a good girl! <laughs> I'll play for you sometime! I didn't think she'd ask to start piano lessons. Like mother, like daughter, I guess. Chisato was a piano teacher, but Nanako's pretty good herself. At first, I didn't even want to hear the word piano. Now that she wants to learn, I gotta get over it. I remember what my mom played! I'm gonna play it for you, Dad! The weather report's on! And now, the weather. It was nice and sunny today, but what will it look like after that? Take it away, Mariko! Hello! Mariko Kasumi here. We've been having a lot of rain recently, so starting today, I'm gonna make it sunny! I mean, after all that rain, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any water shortages this summer. <laughs> And besides, someone's visiting. I can't have it rain while he's here, so I'm gonna keep it sunny for a while. Mariko? Mariko, please calm down. Oh, but if it gets too hot, then some rain should be fine. He should tell me whenever he wants it different and I'll change it, just like that. Oh, I forgot to mention. She's been coming here a lot. She's famous now. How'd she get so popular so fast? What was the station thinking? Her stage name's so boring, too. This girl will decide tomorrow's weather, right? Whenever she says it's gonna be sunny, the sun comes out. Uh, in her case, maybe. Thanks, Mariko. Tell our viewers goodbye. I hope you all have a good day tomorrow. Remember, the more you put in, the more you get out. The more you get out. I see that weather girl a lot. The younger ones at the station tell me they feel motivated whenever she does that. I feel it a little myself, to be honest. Well, I'm just glad the weird fog is gone. Now we don't have to obsess over the weather report. It is really great, though. Everyone in town is more motivated. Yeah, people have so much energy now. You're right. It doesn't wear you down walking through town anymore. Not like last year. 
Everyone has a more positive outlook on life than when I first came. It shows people can change. For better or worse, I guess. Depends on your perspective. After the fog lifted, I'm sure people just realized that it's a lot brighter when your eyes are open. There's a lot we'd rather not see. A lot of grime in the human heart. But if you close your eyes to everything, you can't even see the people close to you. How can you be happy like that? The only thing to do, really, is to keep marching on. Straight ahead. I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> Guess I had more to drink than I thought. Oh yeah, Nanako, didn't you say there was something you wanted to tell him when he came home? Your cooking is barely food, Chie. Ha! Hey, shut up! What about yeah, mine? That's cold, Yosuke. I could have made something uh, too. Please don't. Hmm? Um, what was that? I can cook if I put my mind um, to it. Mm -hmm. So can I. Mm -hmm. uh, that's... Uh -huh. Gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Oh, yes. yeah! Uh -uh. Well then. One and... Well to see you, Senpai! Kanji, it was welcome back. How could you mess that up? Hey, just... shut up, all right? I just got stage fright, that's well, all. Well, I figured someone would blow it.
Sou 